was like, if you're going to build a church, why make it so awkward? Yeah, it's a strange place to put one, to be honest. It's got a fireplace. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it was um, abandoned. I wonder if there might have been a fire or something. This place is really weird. <laughs> it's um, certainly got some creepy kind of feelings. I definitely know what people mean when they say they come here and it feels like th they don't feel yeah. too comfortable it's here. A, like the first literally like 20 seconds of us being in this bit, it was like, wow, this is some next yeah. level like creepy. Yeah, it's such, I mean, there's not a lot of it, but it just feels really kind of, I don't know, spooky is the only word. Is, is it because it's in the middle of, of the forest, like literally in the middle of nowhere, up a dirt track? Yeah, that's the right. thing. It's it is so, it's so isolated. We've passed what one cyclist since yeah. we've been up here. Literally, yeah. so um, there's like a house or something just down the hill there. But, but it's literally at the bottom of. It's the down hill. the side, yeah. Yeah, I think we've definitely got to do a bit of an investigation here. T to me, it looks like I can picture it as a Sunday school. You know, all the the like little desks separate, and like. I actually feel slightly more creeped out here than at the other place. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's getting darker, but I feel like I've got more of that feeling like turn around and you're going to see something. Yeah. I, I don't know what you mean. Like, I'm waiting for something to pop up out the windows or something. I'm just like, the windows, literally. I keep thinking I'm just sitting in that doorway back there. And every time I keep looking that way, I keep getting a sort of very, very slight sort of chill. Yeah. I certainly think it's got potential. And I'd say there is reports of, although very vague reports, there are apparently have been sightings and experiences here. Myself and Sophie return to the car to retrieve our night vision cameras. However, upon our return, James and Lauren relayed a very strange experience to us. What happened? Yeah, we had the strangest thing happening. Like, I was standing here, and I was standing there, and we were just in the complete dark talking. And then there was like static everywhere in the church. How do you mean you could hear it? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, it sounded like you, if you put like a vinyl, like a record on, That's and it's just that like, like before it's really? any sound, but everywhere, popping everywhere. And then you you could hear it over in this corner. It was behind me. You thought there was water running underneath here. And then like, it was like building for a bit and it sounded like actual like, like walking Seriously? around in here on the mud. It was really weird. Can you enter this environment with us if you're here? Can you hear like... I think that's bats or birds or something. Yeah. But it wasn't, it was close, a lot closer than that. Is that outside? Is that outside? That was like straight up the sound of someone walking along. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it, yeah. Just stop. Sounded like it was just outside here. Yeah. We all heard the distinctive sound of footsteps on the outside of the building, so I decided to take a walk around the perimeter to ensure that we were indeed alone at the chapel. There's no one out here, yeah. That's what I mean, it sounded like it was just outside yeah. here, but there's there's no one here. There's, um, I mean, there's the bank which has got shrubbery on, but it sounded like footsteps. But if someone's out this time, like, this dark, do you, see, do you think they're going to Oh, boy! What? Holy fuck. What? What? I'm not even kidding, like a massive like black shadow just walked past that window. In front of me? Yeah. This side of the wall? No, no. Shh, shh, shh. Other side of the wall,
No, we're getting the same regions as inside. So is this window where I'm standing now? Right. Where, where you were standing there, a mat, like a big black shadow figure walked from this side towards you. Yeah. And then as soon as I reacted, it sort of went back again and disappeared. But it was like big, like someone hunched over with a cloak. Or That's interesting. Well, you can see how tall I am. I can hear something. Is there anybody outside the chapel? Did James just see you? I can hear you moving about in there and around us. Can you hear us or see us? Whilst outside, no further activity occurred, so I joined the rest of the team inside where we began to experience even more unusual activity. Did you used to go to school here? Some incense. Oh yeah. Come here. Did you smell it? I can smell it, I swear. Yeah. Did you smell it? People are just... yeah. It's what it leaves. Definitely incense. Yeah, that I definitely. First spark. I can't smell it. Definitely like, smell incense just now. Sophie, <laughs> you have the beam with the eye on the wrong side facing I, towards you. No. What's that? Pigeons. Yeah, that's wildlife. Can you move around in here if you're with us so we can hear you? I mean, presumably, there's a chapel that have had some kind of had that candles or something. Uh, what are called? A sensor thing. Yeah, I know what you mean, oh. yeah. Is it back? Yeah, I just met again. Yes, 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 yes. That's so weird, though. It's just, like, in the air. I smelled it that time. But only brief. Just for a second, yeah. Just, like, there's a little pocket of it floating around. It's, I mean, I'd say, I mean, there is a house down there. I'd say it's maybe firewood burning. But one, how bloody hot has it been today? Mm. Who's going to be burning the fire? <clears throat> and, like, even if it was firewood, it's not a firewood smell. Mm. And even if they had incense, it wouldn't carry up here in pockets. Yeah, sort of. Well, it's like you'd, you'd if it was smoke from something, you smell the smoke, like, constant, constant. Yeah. unless the wind changes direction. Well, what? Move back and forth again. It looked like, it might have been there. I don't know, it looked like something whizzed past the doorway. Outside, outside again? Outside, yeah. See, it's weird I, I that stuff's... Your... In this area, yeah. No, not. I don't think it's... I'm sure, when they do the thing where they, like, walk along... It was just, just like a the quick shadow, like a... Yeah. That's what made me think of the camera. If, if you're outside, you haven't got to be shy, you can come in with us. We're in your space, I understand that. But you don't need to worry, you can come in. I'm going to go outside because there seems to be a lot going on around the edges. It's almost, I mean, I wonder if it's like we've kind of pushed them out kind of thing Maybe. and they're just going around the perimeter.
Yeah, yeah. Or cane or something. Yeah. It moved so quickly because it went from up there and then it was over there within seconds. Yeah. No, it wasn't a bike, it moved too quick anyway. You would have heard it as a bike sound as well. Yeah. It that stick. It sounded like a grandma. It was like... Yeah. Like there was like a force behind it. Yeah, go lights out again, because I felt that was building to something. It's so weird, every time I've lights out, it's like... I've got a static started up, it all sort of... Well, I've even turned the LCD screen off, so... It's pitch black. After a while, the tense atmosphere and all strange activity at the chapel subsided, and with time pushing on, we decided to return to the graveyard in Petworth for the main investigation of the evening.